Yes. yes, our next guest, James Monk, is a 29-year-old guy who suffered a spinal impact injury last summer that changed his life. As he was being treated for his injury, doctors made a worrying discovery. James joins us now to tell us more. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the programme. Could you just describe more about what happened, James? Hi there. Thanks, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so I had a um, sporting injury uh, in August last year. I sort of took a heavy knock to my back um, doing a water sport that I love, wakeboarding, but it's not something that's uncommon to me. I'm used to having sort of um, crashes and impacts. And Anyway, long story short, my injury worsened over the days um, and weeks that then passed um, with symptoms such as numb feet, which turned into two numb legs, and it affected my balance and my walking and various things. It was, it was changing uh, with me. And then I woke up one day a few months later, um, really early in this year, and my right eye was just completely blurry, um, almost complete uh, loss of vision in that eye. And I normally have, you know, absolutely fine eyesight. So it was a worrying sort of time for me and a very strange set of symptoms that I was really um, unsure what was going on and what was the problem. And after a series of um, NHS and private um, consultant meetings and appointments it came to the conclusion that i've got ms uh, multiple sclerosis and it's national ms awareness week this week so this i thought this would be a great opportunity for me to come on online speak to you guys speak to everyone and just help raise awareness for the cause of ms um and what it's about and how how it can be helped uh, absolutely and goodness me you know obviously we all wish you the, the very very best and i hope that you can be out and talking about it maybe people recognize some symptoms that, that they've got for example maybe they go and get themselves checked a little bit earlier i'm just one year older than you i think i've just turned 30 and i don't know what it was like for you but you know i, I i'm always incredibly reluctant to go to a doctor I always think oh, i'm young you know this is bothering me that's bothering me and there have been one or two times, thankfully, nothing like as serious as, as what you've got, obviously. But, yeah, where, where it's become worse as a result of me not going and getting checked. But I, I, underst I, I understand mm. you, you are... You, is there a crowdfunding page, I believe, is there? Yeah, so uh, this is also a fantastic opportunity for me to thank uh, my amazing girlfriend, my best friend, Ali Taylor, and all my friends and um, family and extended family and friends um, for organising a GoFundMe page for myself. Um, it's currently number two on the GoFundMe page on the medical um, situation. It's help James with uh, fight MS with life-changing treatment. But that's also what I want to take this opportunity to do is not necessarily, you know, plug my own uh, crowdfunding. It's, it's not what this is about. This is about the awareness of MS and just touching back on what you said about the symptoms um, and sometimes whether you're unsure to go to a doctor or not. My symptoms were strange and very confusing to me and i know that it's a very hard disease to have diagnosed i'm right. fortunate that i managed to get it diagnosed within the first year which gives me a fighting chance to do something about it early and have um certain treatments so i can move forward with my life but mm. the message is kind of if you do have strange symptoms maybe different sensation in your limbs particularly your feet or your vision changes and there's various other um ms symptoms do get it checked out do ask your doctor do seek help yeah. Um, because the earlier you ask and the more you push it yourself, the more likely you are to get it diagnosed early, which is a really key thing. 